Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Bootstrap Tutorials. In today's class, I'm going to discuss about the glyph icons or glyph icons. Bootstrap icons class is called as the glyph icons and there are almost 250 icons uh, available. And these glyph icons can be used in text, buttons, toolbars, navigation, forms, etc. So let me actually show you what are all these uh, glyphs. Okay, so you can see that these are all the glyphs and these are the class names. Uh, so if you want to include an um, asterisk in your code, uh, this symbol in your code, you can use uh, glyphicon asterisk. And if you want a heart, you can say glyphicon heart. And if you want, a, want music, you can say glyphicon music. So all these are available in Bootstrap and you can use them. And uh, these are called as uh, glyph icons in uh, Bootstrap 3, but they were discontinued in Bootstrap 4 from Bootstrap 4. Uh, I will show you how you can include uh, these kind of icons in Bootstrap 5 as well. So first, I will show you how to write the code in Bootstrap 3. And then I'll show you how to include these icons in Bootstrap 5. Okay, so this is my interface and I am going to uh, type in the code in between this body. So you can see that I have included the HTML, CSS and JavaScript inside the head. So which is mandatory to run these concepts. Okay, so I have done this and then inside the body tag. Uh, so I'll be uh, creating the uh, glyph icons. Okay, so I'm taking the div tag. So uh, I said div and then class is equal to so I'm taking a container. Uh, so I took a container then close the container and then I'm taking a h2 tag. Uh, so in here I'll say uh, glyph icon um glyphicons okay so i just wanted to put a heading which is glyphicons and uh, then uh, I, I want to insert the glyphicon so i'm taking a paragraph uh, then um, say for example i want to include an envelope okay so i'm saying envelope icon okay so envelope icon and inside the uh, span tag so i need to take the span tag and say span class is equal to so i need to type in all that i have shown you so um, if i want to include this envelope so what i need to type i need to type glyphicon and glyphicon uh, envelope okay so this is what i need to type inside the spam inside the span okay so inside span i need to type in glyphicon glyphicon envelope okay so let me actually do that uh, so let me get back over here and uh, Okay, so I'm typing in that, which is glyphicon. Okay, so glyphicon. Glyphicon and then uh, uh, glyphicon envelope. Okay, so envelope. Okay, so I just have included the glyphicon and then close it. So since this is a class, we have inserted it in the class attribute. Then close the span tag and then close the paragraph tag. Okay, so let me show you how this will look like. Okay, so when I have uh, launched this, um, so let us try to understand why this have not launched. Okay, so let me check the spellings. It is glyphicon and glyphicon hy hyphen envelope. Okay, so it is envelope. Okay, so let me actually reload it once again. So you can see that the envelope symbol have appeared here. Okay, so you can make the symbol as a link as well. So this is not a link. So that is why it is in black color. So if you want to make it as a link, okay, so now I'll show you how to make this as a link. So again, I'll be taking a, a paragraph. So I'm taking one more paragraph over here. And then I am saying envelope, envelope as a link. Okay, so envelope as a link. And again, I'm taking the span tag. Okay, so I'm taking the span tag here. Uh, so, uh, so before taking the span tag, I need to make it as a link, right? So I'm taking the uh, a tag, and inside this, I am just putting a hash. Hash will take to the home uh, uh, page. Okay, so to the uh, top of the web page. So I'm just giving that because as of now, I don't have any reference to be made. Um, so this is a tag and then inside this I'll be giving my span okay so I said class is equal to again uh, uh, the uh, glyphicon 
okay so glyphicon and then the uh, glyphicon hyphen envelope okay so envelope i just have done that close uh, the span tag and then close the a tag and then close the p tag okay uh, so let me load this and show you how it will look so you can see the difference between made as a link and then the normal image so the normal image is uh, um, uh, in black color and the link you can see as i hover my mouse or bring my mouse on here like it is uh, showing that it is a link okay fine um, so then um, uh, so then uh, let me actually show you the other glyphicons as well okay so i'm uh, taking i'm copying this and uh, i'm pasting it over here and let me say i want the search glyphicon okay so here let me say this is the search icon okay so let me actually launch this so you can see that this is the search icon okay so in the same way uh, let us make the search icon as a button okay so how can you make this search icon as a button is i am again taking the p tag over here okay so let me take the p tag and uh, after the p tag i am saying search uh, button now search icon as button okay so search icon as button and uh, let me actually start the uh, button tag over here so button then type is equal to button and i want to create the button um, uh, by using the button class so say btn and then i want the color of the button to be blue which is the primary okay so i have made btn primary and uh, then i have uh, uh, close the button tag and then uh, I want the glyphicon. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the span and then uh, class is equal to. So I need the search, right? So I'm saying uh, uh, glyphicon and then um, glyphicon hyphen search. Okay, so search uh, uh, I have given in the span. Close the span and then whatever you want uh, the label of. Uh, uh, the button you put it over here so i'm putting the label of the button to be search and then i close the button tag and then close the p tag so let me load this okay so you can see that this is how it appeared so you can um, actually um, okay so i have put some space in between this icon and the search okay uh, so this is wherein i have made this uh, uh, used to this uh, glyphicon inside and um button okay fine so you we can do uh, this okay um and uh, we can make the glyphicons as links we can make uh, use the glyphicons in the buttons and so on let me actually show you some more glyphicons um wherein let me actually uh, show you the heart okay uh, so this is the heart icon okay so i just need to say heart okay so heart will appear for us and also if you want the print okay so let me actually uh, give the print icon okay so this is the print icon so let me give print over here and then let me show you so this is the print icon and you can make this print as button as well so let me actually do that by copying the same um, and paste it over here and I'll make this as a, a print icon, okay, as button. So let me actually just make a change over here saying that it is a print icon. And here also, let me say that it is a print, okay. Uh, so let me load this, okay. So you can see that this is how the button has formed. So this is how friends, like you can create uh, uh, glyphicons uh, in Bootstrap 3. So now I'll tell you how to create glyphicons in Bootstrap 5. Okay, well, friends, this is my uh, code for uh, Bootstrap 5. So you can see that Bootstrap 5, uh, HTML and CSS, all JavaScript documents have been included in the head. Uh, so which is mandatory for executing uh, the Bootstrap code. Okay, right. 
so before getting started how to include icons uh, so let me just show you uh, a website so this is icons.bootstrap.com uh, so this is a website wherein uh, you can find like bootstrap icons in it um, so uh, so let me come uh, down okay so as i come down you can see that it is uh, showing the icons all the icons uh, so you can see alarm fill alarm then uh, everything okay so uh, all the icons more icons that are not there in bootstrap 3 and 4 so a lot of things have been added into this so you can see all of them over here uh, so globes then hand index and hand index fill and then thumb and all this you have grid globe okay heart fill then headphones headset all these are there so, so many icons are there here uh, so now what you just need to do is if you want to include all um, any particular icon in your code okay so if you're working in bootstrap 5 and you just want to include them uh, just go to install okay uh, so as you go into install, either you can download these icons on your system or you can use the CDN. So I'm using the CDN. So here in I'm clicking on uh, copy. So you can see that it has uh, shown me that I have copied. So come back to your HTML document and inside the head. OK, so inside the head, I am actually here. So inside the head, I'm pasting this uh, link. OK. So I have pasted this link wherein I'll be including all the bootstrap icons. Okay, so bootstrap icons.css now is included in my code. So I can get started. Okay, so let me again go back and see what are the icons that I require. So herein you have, uh, because there are so many icons, uh, you can actually filter them here in the search. Um, uh, so say for example, I want heart, all the heart related uh, icons will appear here and say i want something related to books okay everything related to books will appear here and so on okay uh, so say i want to um, include a book uh, um, icon so i want this uh, book half icon in my code uh, so i need to click on it so after clicking on it you can see like there is a code here um, so which is i tag and i class is equal to this bi and then bi hyphen a book and half and all that so just click on this copy and come back to your html code so herein i'm taking a header uh, heading tag so which is uh, h3 and then i am uh, copying this code over here and then i'm saying uh, this is my book okay so this is my book I just wanted to uh, give an icon and then I, I'm typing in something and then I'm closing in the H3 tag. OK, so this is what I have done. Um, I just have copied the icon. So I need to copy the uh, link. And then after that, I just need to copy the code. OK, so now just save it and go to your browser. So I this is my browser and it is alert.html. So when I refresh this, you can see that the book icon have come over here and this is my book is here. So this is how actually you include, um, um, this is how actually you include uh, icons or glyphicons um, in HTML5. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.